and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kennedy Page. Thank you guys all so much for watching and for today's video, a subscriber requested that I do a pink and gray smoky eye. So here it is. In the future, if you guys want to see something from me, don't be afraid just to leave me a comment down below and I will get to it as soon as I can. So I'm super happy with how this turned out and if you want to know how I achieved this makeup look, keep on watching. <laughs> All right, so first step for this makeup tutorial is to do our brows, and I'm taking one of my favorite brow products. This is the Anastasia at Beverly Hills Brow Powder, and I have the shade Dark Brown, and to apply, just using what I normally use, which is the Flawless Liner slash Brow Brush by It Cosmetics, and same as always, just brushing up the brow hairs. And first, dipping in to the darker brown color in the duo and going from the midsection of my brow down to the tail, just in upward strokes, um, defining and filling in where it's more sparse. Next, for the inner portion of the brow, taking the lighter color of the brow duo and taking even smaller brow strokes. And we want to do this um, portion of the brow a lot lighter with a lighter hand so that it just looks super natural. So now that we have the eyebrows filled in, we just want to shape them and carve them out. And to do so, taking the Tarte Shape Tape, and I have the lights the what the shade light sand I don't know how to speak English and to carve them out the brush I'm taking is Adelium Tools 936 and now there's a plane going over me I cannot catch a break what the heck Next, we're gonna prime the eyelid, and I just wanna brush away, I don't know why I did that, but we're just doing like exactly what we did to carve out the brows, which is just taking the concealer and the brush, but this time just applying it all over our eyelid so we have a nice blank can canvas? canvas to apply eyeshadow. So next it's time for eyeshadow and in my last video I asked you guys to um, in the comments below to ask me what videos you wanted me to shoot next and one of my lovely subscribers asked me to do a pink and a gray smoky eye. So that is a little bit different than something I would normally do but for the sake of the video and because I love you all so much I'm going to be giving you all a pink and gray smoky eye and for the palette today the Too Faced Oh my gosh, there's an eyelash on it, cute. There's a, the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbon Palette. So the first shade I'm gonna be using is the shade Divinity. It's just a cream white shade and packing it on my entire eyelid with the Effortless Crease Brush. So for our first transition shade, I know this palette is a mess. I've had this for so long, so don't judge me. I'm taking the shade right here. It's called Almond Truffle, and it's just a really pretty pink mauve. For our next transition shade, I'm going to pick up the shade Totally Fetch. For our last transition shade, I'm going to pick up the shade Pecan. I think it's praline or praline. And it's just a really like a light cool tone to gray. Next, taking up more of the shade Praline, um, Pecan Praline with the Absolute Shadow Brush by It Cosmetics and packing this on the outer V and tapering it out to create that really beautiful smoky effect. Next on top of our lid, we're going to create like kind of like a soft cut crease. So it's not going to be exact or like a sharp line, but we're just applying kind of like a lighter color on top of the inner portion of our eyelid just to help bring some light and a more of a pinky touch to it all. And to do this, I'm going to take a little bit of the shade Cotton Candy and it's this like really light, pretty pink right here and packing this on using this Dalium Tools 755 brush. 
So now that we have the pink applied on our lid, again, this is not a cut crease, so we wanna soften up that pink color a little bit and just going back in with the Absolute Shadow Brush and just trying to blend and diffuse that color out just a little. Next, for a little bit of shimmer, I'm gonna take the shade Satin Sheets. It's a really pretty champagne color right here and just packing this on all over that pretty pink color we just layered on our lid. Next, where I'm gonna do the winged eyeliner and for winged eyeliner, I'm gonna be taking the Long Wear Gel Eyeliner by Bobbi Brown and this is in the shade Gun Metal Ink number 18. And to apply, taking the Dalian Tools 763 brush. So same as always, just creating a line from here to here. And next, taking the line back to the center of the eyelid. So now we have the eyes done for now and we have the gray winged eyeliner on. So next it's time to apply falsies. And for today's falsies, using my Ardell Wispies and of course the Esquito eyelash glue. This is literally the only eyelash glue I ever use because it's so amazing. Now that we have the falsies on, next for mascara, I'm taking the Benefit Ruler Lash. So next, I'm gonna take a little bit of under eye cream. I think that using under eye cream really changes the um, final look of your concealer. It makes it look really moisturized and like smooth and really pretty. So just my favorite under eye cream, which is the Benefit Cosmetics, it's potent eye cream. If you guys would like a full skincare routine where I show everything I do, um, whether it's my nighttime routine or my morning routine, just let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see that. So for primer today, I'm throwing it back to when like I first started doing makeup. This is the primer I would use because Nikki Tutorials used it and so I used it because Everything she does is just perfect. She's the queen of makeup. And this is the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. Next for foundation, taking the NYX Total Drop Foundation and I'm in the shade True Beige. And to apply, you guys guessed it, my Juno & Co sponge. Next, I'm going to color correct my under eyes with the NYX Color Correcting Concealer Palette and using the Salmon Shade for this because your girl got no sleep last night and looks dead. Next, to highlight slash conceal my face, first picking up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Stick and I have the shade Banana. I like that word, it reminds me of Minions. Banana! And then just for right under my eyes for extra coverage, the Tarte Shape Tape again in Light Sand. <coughs> oh, not today, girlfriend. Oh my god, wow, like there's powder going everywhere and it like hurts to breathe in. It like smells weird, like mold or dust. My brother just got a new puppy and her name is Ray and I believe she's a golden doodle and she has like this fancy term to her and she like, I can't remember what it is, but it means like she has like all different color, like hair, like some is brown, some is blonde, some is black and she's just a cute little puppy and she actually came over my house today and she's just like so sweet and like I don't know if you can see but I'll like show you she was like finally walking with her leash and she's so cute like can you see that I mean, you have the glare like she's so cute all right so it's been a few minutes I let this bake on my face it again like if you have dry under eyes I don't know if this would work for you because it literally 
feels so drying, but we're just gonna we're just gonna work with it. We're just gonna we're gonna do it and see what happens. So I'm gonna start dusting this away and seeing what my face looks like. So next to kind of bronze and contour my skin. I think I have some like the single shades from Anastasia Beverly Hills for contour. I think for the bronzer color, I'm going to be using the Java single contour color. And just applying this using the Dallium Tools 942. So for blush and highlight, taking from my Lorac Disney Beauty and the Beast palette, and there's a really pretty shades in here, but I'm going to go with Enchanted, which is this color this color right here and applying this using my all-time favorite blush brush the Dallium Tools 964 so for highlight dipping back into the Beauty and the Beast palette there's a really pretty gold color in there which is fearless it looks like that it's super cute Next to highlight my inner corners and brow bone, I'm gonna take a ColourPop, I'm dropping my brush, uh, ColourPop single shadow, and this is in Just In Time. And applying using the brush I almost dropped, which is the Dallium Tools 766. Next, we're gonna go back to the eyes and finish off, finish off the eyeshadow. Oh my goodness, like I really don't know how to speak English, what is happening? And I'm just going to take the shade Pecan Praline right here and a little bit of Almond Truffle, which is that really pretty mauve. And of course, with the Absolute Shadow Brush, I don't have it in hand. I have to find it. I think I dropped it. Okay. So I couldn't find it. So the brush that comes with all the Naked palettes, I'm just going to use this one. And going back in with that Charcoal Gel Liner from Bobbi Brown. And the Tarte Cosmetics Liner Brush, I'm just going to be applying it on my waterline to really tie everything together. Next, to seal off the eye look, taking the Ruler Lash Mascara once more for their lower lashes. Next, for liquid lipstick, I'm going to be going in with the NYX Lin Lingerie Liquid Lipstick. And Alright, so I don't know, I'm not sure this is the shade, but it just says Lipley 06 push up effet piggy on it so that's the shade right there guys so this makeup look is pretty much finished we want to just like seal it off and to do this i'm going to take the nyx matte um, setting spray this is really great if you're on a budget but you still want your makeup to have longevity and you have more oily skin this will really hold on to your makeup and keep you shine free for like such a long time So we have reached the end of this makeup tutorial. I'm really happy with how this makeup turned out. If you're happy with how it turned out as well, please give me a like and a thumb, thumbs up for more videos. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more and leave me a comment for just like this video to do what you would like for me to do a tutorial on. So please go follow my Instagram at Kennedy underscore Tope to see alerts and what I'm going to be posting next. I love you all so, so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Just rambled on so much. What the heck? That's not going in there. <laughs> <laughs>